I agree. Chapter 20 of the book, Isaiah 53 and the Day of the Lord. Dictated to me by God after he taught me all the material. <clears throat> well, maybe not all of it at one time, but he would teach me a bunch. Uh, and then uh, we'd write a blog. We had about 117 blogs, and those blogs became about 50 chapters. When we whittled it all down for this book before me that I'm reading from, God's Word, Scripture, divinely received. It's not canonized, but you don't know that it won't be one day. And in that book is a harsh criticism of Toby the Singer and Jews for Judaism. Harsh. And he keeps saying, I'm not taking any of that. That must mean he knows them. they're just putting their head in the sand. They're just ignoring uh, his prophet. That's not a good thing either. Toby the Singer adding to and taking from the uh, Torah. That's not something you can just Yom Kippur away. Okay? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, I got to I got to get to a chapter we missed. Uh, it's chapter twenty, and we got twenty two, which obviously come before twenty three and twenty four. Twenty three is uh, Toby a singer and his commentary on fifty three being Israel. Twenty four is Jews for Judaism, uh, and their commentary, at least some of it, on. Uh, 53 being Israel. All the Jewish people gathered as one man. Which has only happened two times. At Oreb, when all the Israelites came before Moses and uh, God had him deliver the new, uh, God's covenant with them. And to a man they all agreed. The next time we find it in the book of Ezra. For the 13 tribes that returned, 10 lost tribes, the myth, it's false teaching. Uh, they all gathered as one man, according to Israel, the 13 tribes. Well, if only two tribes returned, they couldn't gather as one man, could they? And they couldn't be called Israelites. That takes all 13 tribes. Sorry for the delay. Anything else I can add while I'm looking for chapter 20? I am Moshe, the righteous servant. And in the Hebrew Bible, it says when I'm here, God will have a reckoning and dismiss all the shepherds and appoint me, Moshe, as the only teacher he recognizes. They've all been dismissed. None of them are in right standing with God because of the state of Judaism and all the false teachings in it that we're trying to rectify. Now, they don't listen to me. It's not going to get rectified. And ultimately, that's fine with me. There will be utter destruction to the land of Israel according to God. Are you going to doubt him? How are you going to have a Messianic era if possibly utter destruction is coming since you won't build his temple? It's been 70 years. Doesn't have to be on the temple now. Where's that written? God says on my Mount Zion. Ah, there's plenty of room on Mount Zion, I'm sure. Should just let me go on 22. Hmm. 
He just frustrated. You know what? This part of the fire refinery, I'm still in it. He's frustrating me. I can feel the angst building up. That's not supposed to be there anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot more personality than you uh, can glean about him, whatever you may think, in the tour. Yeah, he's always angry in the tour. He knew they were going to keep, he knew when he <laughs> told them to obey all his laws, he knew it wasn't going to happen. He's God, knows everything. Boy, you ought to live with him. <laughs> That's worse than having a thousand wives, if I may say so. That's a reference to Solomon. Who would want a thousand wives? I could barely deal with one. Okay, here's 19. We're almost to 20. It's good. It's the New Covenant, but mainly as presented in the New Testament. And this is what they say. They say God made a mistake. <laughs> yes, they do. It's the book of Hebrews. Nobody knows who wrote it, but it's the book of Hebrews. It's in the New Testament. Chapter 20 of God's book, Isaiah 53, in the day of the Lord. New Covenant. That would be Jeremiah 31, covenant of sin forgiveness. I think. Yeah. In the Holy Bible, Christian Bible, only the book of Hebrews of the New Testament discusses God's new covenant with sin forgiveness of the Jewish people that comes with Elijah and the angel of the covenant that you desire. The unknown writer says that the new covenant with sin forgiveness is old, ready to vanish away, just as the first covenant became old and had to be replaced. They had to say that. Because John the Baptist, as Jesus said, was Elijah, the covenant of sin forgiveness is there. This this one that's vanished and one of them which has been replaced. Um This is what he says. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, that with them, that would be the Jewish people, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, violated his laws, kept sinning, and I regarded them not. Okay, that's not in the Hebrew Bible. And I regarded them not. No, that's a fabrication in the New Testament book of Hebrews. Apparently you can find them everywhere. No, he says, and I espoused them anyway. I married them, adopted them. They remain mine, notwithstanding the sinning. There's one song where he says to the Jewish people, you all can turn your back on me, every one of you, and still not going to leave. How do you, how, how you account for that Christianity who says God left the Jew for the Gentile? God says, I never spoke to the writer of the book of Hebrews. He just said, God said. For this is a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Oh, this, he's repeating what's in. Which book is it? Is that Ezekiel? Yeah, plagiarizing but making changes to it. Oh, no, no, no. This is all his. Listen to what he's saying. Okay. He's harassing me today. This is a harassing fire refinement day. It's maltreatment. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after these days, saith the Lord. Right. He did not tell him to write that. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man 
his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities. I will remember no more. In that he saith, a new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and wasteth, waxeth, is ready to vanish away. Yeah, but you're, the, the covenant at Oreb didn't have sin forgiveness. Is he talking about the exiles? He says for anybody to figure out. The first covenant did not become old and vanish. The new covenant with sin forgiveness has been in heaven with God to be delivered by messenger at a time that is here. And I am that messenger, Elijah, Malachi 3. The land blooms again and Jerusalem has been rebuilt and the Jewish people will never be uprooted and overthrown again. That's Jeremiah. There's a caveat to that. As long as you get the temple built that God's going to return to, the new covenant is young and fresh. It's right here. It's in this book. Just waiting to get published. But we, God says we need help. Because it looks like an attack on Judaism, but it's not. It's a correction of Judaism. God says it'll work out. He says this is how I end up in Israel someday. And I ask him, well, am I going to be 90? I'm 66 right now. All I get are critical comments. Nothing positive. And about 650 views from Israel. Uh, but uh, you would think it'd be more than Canada. We've got about 1,500 views. And we believe, I believe, Jews for Judaism is in Canada. It is an amendment, renewal, and confirmation of the first covenant. That's what it is. It's not a new covenant, really. Amendment, renewal, and confirmation of the first covenant. The amendment is, be mindful of the teaching of my servant Moses, who I charged at Orb with laws and rules for all Israel. That's in Malachi 3. For those who fear and hear the Lord, rather than strict compliance by all the Jewish people. Now, you know, the ultra-Orthodox, Orthodox, conservative, reform, they're all going to have to decide for themselves what being mindful means instead of strict compliance. God says he doesn't think the ultra-Orthodox will change. You might let them know, though, that there's not going to be any, any animal sacrifice. God's not reviving the animal sacrificial atonement and worship system of loss. You should tell Toby you're saying that, too. Because he thinks he can do it on his own. The unknown writer quoted the scripture of Jeremiah. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 9. Holy Bible. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Now we all say Moses did, but God's saying I did it. He was in Moses as he is in me, along with the angel of his presence. By the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Now that's what it says in Hebrews. Changing a very important part of the verse, which actually reads, I will not be, it will not be like the covenant that I made with the fathers, when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant which they broke. I espouse them, married them, declares the Lord. Though I espouse them, was changed to, and I regarded them not. The same unknown writer said that Jesus ate the flesh and drank the blood under the belief that by his death he would destroy the power of death, the devil. If I've mentioned many times, there are many variations to the story of Jesus, many of which are not in the New Testament. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 24, Holy Bible. Supporting that statement, I guess. For as much then as the children 
are partakers of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil. The Greek word for flesh in the New Testament is sarx, S-A-R-X, a term that can often in Scripture refer to the physical body, human body. A common belief in the ancient age and Middle Ages was that drinking the blood of another man would extend one's life. Another of the many versions of the stories of the life of a man called Jesus stories. Not the greatest story ever written, the story nonetheless. God did not replace his written covenant with sin forgiveness of the Jewish people with the human sacrifice of his son or himself. <laughs> and Jesus did not end death and there is no devil with power over death. We still have death in the world, Christians. The book of Hebrews confirms that Jesus was a human sacrifice, that they say he is, it's the story, and quotes Jesus as also believing that he was, rather than the common belief in Christianity, that he sacrificed himself for those who would believe in him, accept him as their Savior, and believe in the resurrection. Here it is, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 4 through 10. Holy Bible. For it is not possible, this is Jesus, that the blood of bulls and goats should be taken away, should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me, and burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Remember, and Toby doesn't know this. God did away with the animal sacrificial system. He said, I don't want your animals anymore. And they know that, and these Gentiles know that. Toby doesn't. Or there's another Gentile out here who knows far more than Mr. Toby is saying. And that would be me. I was taught by God, not other than men. Well, we'll see. Maybe if he starts teaching this book so that he can see the Jewish heaven. Yeah, I know he's got a book out there that's got his 53 in it. Well, there's, about, there's going to be another book with your 53 in there. And it's pretty harsh, if you ask me. Then said I, Lo, I come. it would be Jesus. For in the volume of the book it is written of me. No, it's not. To do thy will, O God, above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hast pleasure therein, which are offered by the law, the laws of God that, that Moses brought to us. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God, he taketh away the first God's law that he may establish the second by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. You can't find any. That's, now that it's not in the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible was not prophetic of Jesus Christ. It got nothing to do with him. All Christians should take their Bible, Holy Bible, with your flawed New Testament and all the lines and the seats, and tear off the book of the chosen, the book of his children that he wrote for them, that you took and told them they didn't know how to read it, that it was prophetic of Jesus Christ, which replaces the law. <laughs> God hadn't replaced the law. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, 
That is to say, his flesh. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 19 and 20. He that despised the law, he that despised Moses' law, died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Jesus despised the law of God. Well, the Jewish people, though, they derived 613 laws from the Torah, first five books of the Bible, Hebrew Bible. And they can be fanatical about it. Although not everybody's observant in Israel, about 30%, it's still greater than Christians, but he that despised Moses as well. Jesus said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. The first being animal sacrifice and bulls and goats for sins, and the second for God to establish human sacrifice for sins in the body of Jesus that God prepared to sacrifice. You know, to even say you believe in this book, you know what the Christians say? They say this is one of the greatest books of the New Testament. Yes, they do. Because this is a book where, where, that Paul presented the argument that God had left the, uh, the Jewish people for the Gentiles. God did take away the animal atonement worship laws of the Torah, saying that through his prophet he no longer wanted to sacrifice. But you can't find this. Not in the Hebrew Bible. I don't think you can find it anywhere. In the volume of the book, it was written of me. What book, Jesus? Whatever book it was, it didn't get canonized. Je oh, here it is right here. Jesus said, in the volume of the book, it is written of me that God prepared the body of Jesus to be a human sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins and replacement of the animal sacrificial atonement loss. That God would accept a human sacrifice for the sins of mankind since he no longer wanted or accept animals. God doesn't accept human sacrifice. Somebody needs to tell Toby a singer that too. He believes just like the Christians do in this stuff. The death of a human being can vicariously benefit others. Or that means Isaiah 53 is Israel. With one third of the Jewish people <laughs> gathered in murder and slaughter. And shaking my head all day reading these 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and I still got to do 22. And that's the one that says Jesus doesn't fit a single verse, verse by verse. We ought to leave out my commentary. There's no known book where this was written, and certainly no book in the Hebrew Bible. Man may offer human sacrifices to God and to God's for different reasons, such as fertility, long life, and bountiful crops. But the God of creation does not offer human sacrifices to man. That's what y'all are saying. You're saying God committed human sacrifice for the Gentiles. That's, that's the religion of Christianity. No. or accept human sacrifices from them. There is a day in Judaism for repentance with restitution, which God can accept or not. Yom Kippur. God had his prophets speak and write his words of sin forgiveness, as he did with forgiving the Assyrian Babylon exiles in the book of Isaiah. He sends a messenger with his words of sin forgiveness, declaring Jeremiah 31, for a time to come in Malachi 3. That day is here. The day of the Lord. Okay, that's it for that chapter. I need to get to 22. God said we might shorten it up. <clears throat> well, the introduction is a generic 53. We got 